Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the sixth episode of PC Wars, where you submit your custom PC to get featured on the channel and a chance to win a hundred bucks. If you have a badass PC and want to submit yours for the show, make sure to watch the video linked down below for the instructions. So with all that said and done, let the PC Wars begin. Never pay full price for games ever again guys, G2A offers the cheapest CD keys you can find anywhere. Check them out by clicking on the link below. So you can find the PC specs and parts linked down below in the description section for anyone that is interested. But here are your 5 chosen PCs for this episode. We have Bill, Chandler, Corey, Matt and Maxim or Maxime. Congratulations for making it to PC Wars episode 6. So first up on the show is Bill and his water cooled black and red build running on a 5820K, 2 GTX 980 Ti's and SLI and 32GB of RAM. We also got water cooling parts from EK and custom red cables all packed inside the Corsair 900D case. For benchmarks it scored a 29,289 but not on fast strike so this score is pretty relevant. Overall a very powerful beast and a great start for PC Wars, thank you Bill for entering. The Blizzard built by Chandler is next up running on a 6600K which is overclocked to 4.1GHz. It has an EVGA GTX 970 Superclocked Edition, 16GB of DDR4 RAM and a Cooler Master Hyper 212 EVO to keep the CPU cool. Some mods include the Silverstone Tech sleeved cable extensions, an RGB multicolor LED strip and a sweet looking EVGA backplate. For the Fire Strike benchmark market scored a 10,071 putting it in first place by default but yeah not much else to say a really good looking black and white build by Chandler thank you for entering Chandler not Chandler I was thinking chandelier for some reason that's why I said that Chandler thank you for entering Corey is next up with a custom build inside his desk. You heard it right folks, we have an i7-5960X paired with 3 EVGA GTX 980 Superclocked Edition inside of his desk. To be truthful, I didn't know if he was entering for Setup Wars or PC Wars, but regardless, it's gonna be tough to beat. So inside this PC or desk, depending on how you look at it, we also have 32GB of Kingston HyperX RAM, 740GB of SSD space, 17 terabytes of western digital hard drive storage and tons of water cooling parts from EK. The mod list on this bad boy is way too long so instead I'll have them linked down below if anyone is interested but I'll go ahead and go over a few of them. The desk itself is obviously custom made using MDF wood. We also have a bunch of painted parts, a custom car audio system which is built into the desk. What? The cable management on the other hand is so damn clean and all the parts are nicely aligned with each other. Definitely one of the more unique builds I've seen on the channel. For benchmarks it scored a 20,782 on Firestrike which easily takes the lead for this episode. Corey that's a sick PC build man, thank you for entering. Okay why the hell would you drill 3 holes in such a beautiful case like this Matt? Anyway so we have a 4790K with 2 R9 280Xs, 16GB of RAM from Corsair and an H100i GTX cooler inside the butchered H440 case. Some mods include red sleeved cables, custom painted PCIe brackets, painted SSD and RAM sticks and even the graphics card brackets are painted red to match the theme. I also like the modded carbon fiber SLI bridge that you made, a very nice touch. For benchmarks it scored on 11,588 putting this PC in second place for this episode but other than that mess up there with the CPU power cables the rest of the cable management is great and this is a very good looking black and red build. Thank you Matt for entering. Last but not least we have the Ugly Beast. I'm not even joking, that's the actual name of the PC. It's running on a 5820K which is overclocked to 4.6GHz and it's paired with not one but two R9 290s. It also has 32GB of Kingston RAM and a Corsair H110 CPU cooler. Ugly Beast is the perfect name for this, I mean I know you can do a better job with that cable management bro. For benchmarks it got a whopping 19,183 putting it right under the modded desk PC in second place. I definitely think that this PC has the potential to be a great black and yellow build but it's really being overshadowed with those cables but nonetheless thank you Maxime or Maxim for entering PC Wars. So that's it for this month's episode of PC Wars, you guys know what to do, make sure to drop your comments down below and vote on who has the best custom PC although we kind of know who it is at this point. Um, as always I will the announce the winners on the 15th on my Twitter and Instagram accounts so follow me there if you guys wish but that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoy PC Wars 
um, let me know by leaving a like. If you also want me to do these once every two weeks, let me know by dropping a comment down below because right now it's only once a month on the first of every month, but I'm hoping to change that really soon. But let me know. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.